Welcome to the Finite Math Podcast. Today we look at setting up a probabilistic simulation using random numbers. Now the problem is to estimate the probability a baseball player with say a 2.80 average will get one hit or two hits or three hits in a game in which he bats five times. Now the idea for this uh, simulation is that we want to have this player go to bat five times in a game and we want to do this for a hundred different games and we just want to see how well he does in order to calculate the probability. Now I've started the setup here of course we have to have one column for the game numbers and then a column for each of his at bats and then a column for the total number of hits in that particular five bat sequence. Now we get the number of, uh, we number the games in the way we've done several previous times. We want to uh, start with uh, a game one and we want to use the edit fill command to just write down a series of a hundred numbers. We want to put them in the column. Of course we used to have a step size of one starting with one and we want to end at a hundred. Right, we've done that before. Now how are we going to decide whether he gets a hit or not? Well, this is going to use the random number generator. So let me just show you how to generate a random number to start with. The command is equal rand, open and close parentheses, and that generates a random number. Now, if I wanted to repeat this process, I hit the F9 function key. It generates another random number. Now, what we want to do is to use another command, namely the logical if function, so that we will generate a random number and then we want to put down a one designating a hit exactly if that random number is going to be less than or equal to uh, 0 0.28. Uh, this means that the proportion of ones that we're going to get is going to be exactly the batting average. All right, so let's go try that. We'll say the equal, of course, if, open parentheses, and then it tells us, well, what's our logical test? Well, we want to look at the random number generator, and we would say if it's less than 0 0.28, uh, maybe I should throw in just a fraction more. And then if this is true, we want to uh, have a 1 entered in the cell. If it's not, we'll have a 0 entered in the cell. Okay, that looks good. And sure enough, there it works. Well, we don't need this anymore. This random number generator will be whatever it is. Now, let's repeat this for each of the other five at-bats. So in this particular game, he looks like he just got one hit there. So we want to sum these up. Equal sum. And we can repeat these, all of these cells, so that this will give us, well, he got two hits there. Now, all right, the model is almost set up. This is what the result of one game. All we'd have to do is to double-click the fill handle now, and that repeats this process for each of these hundred times. So now what we've done is we've actually set up this model so we have a hundred games in which this player bats five times. Well, thanks for viewing. Stop in next time to check and see how we can complete this problem in order to calculate, to tally up the uh, number of games in which you got a fixed number of hits in order to compute the probability.